Antonomi show at the Madame Center, and as you can see behind me, it certainly looks a little different than the ice the Ryerson hockey team would normally inhibit. And instead, they've changed it into five sheets for the Pinty's Grand Slam of Curling Players Championship. It's the fifth time in the past six years that Ryerson plays host to this particular event. And it's the crown jewel of the Grand Slam season. This is a big one here in Toronto. And I asked Skip Brad Jacobs why this particular event is one they all circle. Oh yeah, we get excited to come here every year. It's just a fantastic facility. The fans are always awesome. It's, you know, being in a big city, we kind of get worried that people won't come out and support the event because of the enormity of Toronto, but we always get a lot of fans coming out to this event and a lot of kids. There's a lot of kids that come out and get their autographs uh, next to the boards and the ice is usually fantastic and it's great entertainment. That's great. And I know that you just recently announced that this particular team will stay together for the next four years. What kind of challenges do you find that you guys come across now knowing each other so well and trying to keep it fresh? Oh, how long do you have? <laughs> All the time in the world, Brad. <laughs> no, it's uh, we made the decision to stick together. We had we had a really tough conversation at the last event, but I think for a long time we were maybe sweeping some of our our issues under the rug and just not fully addressing them, and and that's what we did at the last event. So we've come up with a few ideas, but um, you know that's just to maybe temporarily fix things for the rest of this season and I think over the course of the summer we'll really hit on some of the topics that we need to hit on and and come out hopefully next season as a new fresh team Jacobs. Jen you're here in Toronto and I overheard that you think that this is the best tour stop one of your favorites why is Toronto one of the best? It's just so amazing to be playing at Old Maple Leaf Gardens and to be playing in Toronto, like one of the, the, the biggest city in Canada, one of the biggest in the world. And we have a great, great fan support here. It's just, it's a ton of fun. And how's your ring feeling that you're looking for your seventh Players' Championship, which would just be an incredible, incredible feat? Yeah, we're feeling good. Players' Championship was one of our favorite events. You always have the top teams. You have to beat your best to, to beat the best. And we're coming off the World Championship. We're a little bit tired, but we're feeling, uh, feeling pretty good. And picked up that World Championship. You've won just about everything I could possibly list off at this point. Point. What motivates you at this point in your career? Do you know what? Honestly, it's just the love of the game. Like, we just love to play. We have so much fun playing together. And just that drive to try new things to try to get better. And the moment that stops is the moment I'll quit. And I saw some photos from North Bay. Your daughter got to come out and celebrate with you. Your curling couple goals in my mind with you and Brent. How have your daughters kind of adopted curling in their lives? They love it. Actually, our five-year-old even understands the strategy already. So it's just unbe it's unbelievable. <laughs> we'll talk about it. And I part of me feels bad she understands the strategy already. But uh, she's grown up. She, she loves the curling. And she told me when we went to the Olympics that she wants to be a curling Olympian oh. one day. So, which just melts my heart and makes it, you know, all the sacrifices that she has to make and we make for our lives uh, are worth it. So if you are a curling fan, I strongly urge you to head down to the Madame Centre because the action is awesome. Top 12 teams on both the men's and women's side will begin round robin play tonight here. And if you can't watch, Sportsnet has you covered with TV coverage starting this Thursday.